and welcome to Weekend Project. I'm Laura Lynn of the Mama Pop Quilt Shop and we're very happy to see you here today. Today we're going to work on a mini 3D pinwheel. Super easy. We actually did this project as um, a part of a stream not too long ago, a collaboration stream with a couple other artists and uh, I've been asked a couple times to how to demonstrate it so we're going to make sure we get that done today. I'm going to do it on a mini version this time. The one I did it on the stream, uh, it was a six inch background square that I used and a five inch charm pack. So that's how I made my pinwheel. So I used the charm pack for the pinwheel and then cut my background, uh, the solid. So for this project here, we're gonna use two and a halfs and three inches. So the three inch square for your background and two and a half by two and a half for your pinwheel, okay? Now you're gonna need four of each. So four of your background and four of your pinwheel Let's go over here so you can see them properly. Okay. All right. And then what you do with your little two and a half by two and a half is you want to lay them like that so they make a triangle. Then you're going to take this triangle and you're going to put it in the corner so the all the raw edges are together. Okay. And then you're going to take the top one and fold it back on itself to make a little peak, just like that, okay? So I just pop a little pin in there to hold it till we can get them all together. And you wanna do them all the same. So each one, as we're going around, are gonna be like this. So we'll just move that on top of the side, into here, again, fold it, and then you can almost, like I was pre-folding it there and then lining it up. All right, and then make sure you're, You've got your edges, got your raw edges all covered. And again, it's the same, same principle, just, just repeated for each pinwheel. Okay. There's no different about the layout. All four of them are the same. I like doing them all at the same time. Okay. Here and here, just like that, and then up in the corner. Okay, and pop a little pin to hold it. Okay, so now this is gonna end up going this way because you're gonna end up butting up the short end up against the long end, okay? And then there we have our little pinwheel just like that, okay? So now what we're gonna do here is end up putting them together. So I just either went this way or this way, it doesn't matter, just as long as you keep them the same. So you wanna flip them there, so they stack on top of each other, but you also wanna make sure that those little folds are right up against each other, right up against. They're just, they're just snug as a bug in a rug right next to each other, okay? And then we're gonna sew down this seam right here but we're gonna remove the pin before we get to it, okay? So we're gonna do that for both of them. Okay, let's go over to the machine. Make sure our, our, our peak is nice and precise there. Drop our needle down, couple stitches, pull out the pin that's in the way. The other one wasn't in the way, so we just left it. And then we're gonna do the same with this one here. Okay, just like that. We're gonna flip it on top of each other and then make sure those two little folds are snug as a bug together, okay? And then again, removing the one pin that's definitely going to be in the way. Now, uh, you have a lot of fabric going on here. I would highly suggest using a walking foot for this project. It's just gonna help get your fabric underneath the needle a whole lot better. I'm going to separate these two. Now you should have two halves that look just like that. Okay. And then we're going to take them and put them on top of each other, just like that. And make ourselves a pinwheel. So we want to make sure our centers are getting lined up the best that we can. Okay, so let's just flip that. And then because you have such these big bulky seams right here, you really wanna make sure one's going one way and one is going the other. Okay, and just hold her steady. Back underneath the machine. Oh, 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 no. Looks like we came unlooped here. Okay. 
Try that again. Go back, make sure our seam is all pressed, snug together. Little press, not too hard, because you really don't want to lose all that 3D-ness from your pinwheel. And then, and then that's it, you just keep sewing them together. So let's do the green one, because we need the green one to finish off our little uh, wall hanging here. So let's go back over here, so we can just do this layout really quick, quickly again. Okay. And then we do them all the same. Fold it at corner to corner, fold that one down, make sure all those raw edges are sealed up. Okay. And then again, and you can, this is a beautiful block, easy block, makes a fantastic wall hanging, would make a great pillow for the couch. Um, I'm going to suggest if you could do this with any size square. So if you want to start off with a, say, a four inch square in the center, then use a five inch cut of background. Okay. You just get it an inch bigger than your cut or even a half inch bigger because these were two and a half and that was three. So I'd even just say a half inch um, cut. And you want to make sure it's not the same as your uh, size of your pinwheel or you're going to lose these tips. These tips would disappear from block to block, right? It would get too close and you would just end up losing the tips. So you don't want that. You want your pinwheel to stand out. If you put it like this, uh, it almost looks like it's floating. That's what I like about it. And you could use, all, like, if, if you wanted to use your pinwheel as a uh, layer cake and then having a 11 inch cut of fabric, that would make a big, huge pinwheel and a big quilt in no time, no time flat. All right, so then again, we're gonna lay these out. Super easy, just like that. And then we're gonna sew it together, okay? Let's put it on the machine. Line these up, just like that. Make sure those those uh, folded edges are like cuddled right next to each other. And then this pin right here is gonna be my bothersome pin. So I'm gonna pull that one on while I'm still holding it snug and then just feed it under the machine. Okay, straighten that up a bit. Okay, and then the next one. In, just folding it and making sure those two folds in that fabric are coming together. That which it helps make a nice precise pinwheel. Sorry if my hands are in the way. I'm trying to show this the best I can, okay? Alright, now I'm gonna take a couple of stitches and then I'm gonna pull out that that pin that's in the way, which is right there. Okay, lay that back down. Now you're sealing up all those raw edges. All right, separate. And then those two pieces. Oops. Oh, oh, that one got missed. Got missed in the tip. Oh, oh, so that's okay, seam ripper. We know the song. Seam ripper, seam ripper, you're my best friend. Seam ripper, seam ripper. Okay, so just pop a couple stitches out, okay? Get that, cross stitch right out of the way. Get this corner tucked back in there, okay? Because it missed it out of the, then we're putting them together, okay? So tuck that in there. There we go, okay? Unthreaded. Oh, it's, it's, it's the day today. All right. Okay. So 
that's easy enough to fix. Make sure we got, yep, the tip is in. Tip in there is in, and then we just want to make sure we're putting them together so it forms the beautiful pinwheel. Okay. And then because it's so bulky, we've got so many fabrics here and so many fabrics there, you definitely want to be flipping and flopping that seam. Okay. Now the point is not to iron them flat. That's not their they're flat pinwheels. And we could make those easy enough. The the point is to 3D. You want them puff it up. So you don't want to press them too much. Just give them a little little heat loving and then that's about it. Alright, so let's put our two back together here. And we've got another one to sew it to so we can finish off our row of our project. So here, let's pin these two together. Here. Just there. And then we've got this on the other side. And of course you can make a big quilt like this. I just made like a little nine patch, probably turn it into either a wall hanger or a pillow cover. Could even be the front to a tote bag or back to a tote bag or just something really cute and fun for um, kids to play with. Even people who like fiddle blankets or fiddle quilts and stuff like that. That would be another one too. Um, but you know, get your little fingers in there and I don't know. I'm sure there's many other ways you can think about using it. Okay. All right, now we're just gonna give a little uh, heat to those little seams there. there and a little there we don't too much just just a, just a little bit and now we're going to pin our bottom row on to our beautiful little mini quilt or mini project okay and i do pin at every seam because i really want those to line up that's going to be a visual you want to make sure it's as best as it can be the seams being lined up And if you wanted to, if you you could probably put a smaller pinwheel in here. Um, you know, if you wanted to, you know, work your project that so full, or make it make it just full of pinwheels or something like that. You could totally work in another one as you're joining the blocks together. Just have you just have to think about it, and plan ahead. That's all. Okay. So here we go. Underneath. Whoa, 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 whoa! How'd you get wrapped on that foot there? That's weird. Hope everybody had a fantastic week. Sorry about Long Arm Wednesday video. We did shoot it, but for some reason, uh, the cam the one, the main camera, not even the GoPro, the main camera uh, wasn't didn't read it at all, even though it said it did. So I don't know what I did wrong in the connection of uh, setting the camera up that day, and I apologize immensely for that. It was a beautiful project. There we go. Now we just give that a little bit of heat. Just on the little seam in between. You can border it up if you like. And there you go. You have yourself a cute and adorable mini pinwheel 3D wall hanging, pillow, startup quilt, or a little dolly quilt, or anything like that. It'd be super cute and adorable. Hope you try this today. Thank you very much for joining us. We'll hopefully see you Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern for our live stream. We're working on, I believe it's our Scrappy 8 project. We're gonna plug away a little bit more. That shouldn't take too much longer to finish that project. And uh, yeah, so take care everybody. Thank you for your time. We greatly appreciate you. Big hugs from the Mama Pop Quilt Shop.